hello hello welcome to the channel this is angela behind the camera pass me not oh gentle savior hear my humble cry while i know the what calling do not pass me by savior savior hear my humble hear my humble cry while another's the word calling, do not pass me by, Savior, Savior, hear my humble Hear my humble cry, while I know the word calling. Do not pass me by. Lord, we glorify you this morning. We exalt your holy name. Lord, we thank you for yet another day, another day to exalt you, Lord, that you have blessed us to see another day, each and every one that tune in to the devotion this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will saturate, saturate, saturate. Saturate. In a sotora bakashaya, so many things are happening. God Almighty Jesus, and we pray this morning that Father God Almighty, you will hear our humble cry, hear our crying, Lord, for those that are crying out and say, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, have mercy upon my family, have mercy upon me, have mercy, Yelobo Shakanda Kasika, mighty God, have mercy over the community, have mercy over this country in the name of Jesus, hear our humble cry this morning, mighty God. Father God, whatever the situation, bereavement, family issues, whatever, whatever job less this morning, Jesus, whatever the situation, sick and in dire need of a touch of healing, Lord God, this morning, we pray in the name of Jesus that God, you will come through for each and every one of your people in the name of jesus i pray that their faith will not faint but god they will continue to press to the very end in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father god we thank you lord that we know not the time nor the hour we know not because your timing is not our timing Oh God, have mercy and take full control, Lord, as we press on in this day. We pray that, God, you will be the guide. You will be the provider. You will be the burden bearer, the problem solver, the healer, and the deliverer. As we look to you this morning by faith and not by sight. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Our scripture lesson will be taken from Matthew, St. Matthew 11 this day. And it's a few verses in St. Matthew First, it's a few verses, St. Matthew 11 and verse 28 to 30, and you can read all of the chapter. So, it said, come unto me, come unto me all he that are labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. And learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and he shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. And 
I want to say to you this morning, the first time I came in contact with this video was about, about 18 years ago. About 18 years ago. Was it so long? Is it 18 or 15 years? But I know it's in the teen. And what I was going through at the time, I just hear, take my yoke upon you. And normally when I hear a word, I would research what that word is and what it connects to. And if it connects to the scripture, and I realize that it connects to the scripture and that God was talking to me. And I tried to figure out and to know what that meant with the part that stood out he said take his yoke upon me for the issue that i'm going through he's saying yoke yourself to me allow me to abide within you and you abide within me and uh, my issues are light yours are heavy and so i'm willing to take on that heavy load that you're carrying the heavy burden that you're carrying, I'm willing to help you carry it. I'm willing to take it off you. Now, a yoke, it, it's a curved piece of wood, right? Call, call an owl. That is O-L. I don't know how you would pronounce it if it's different. Essentially, a yoke was a harness used by oxen and other animals to ease the work of halting a load and you can actually research it and actually see it i know that there the two there are two animals that is attached to this wooden thing that goes around both of them next so both of them are carrying the load and the thing attached there is a hook that attached to that that pulls the ground and plow plow the lot plow the land, plow the land so that it can be ready for the planting of whatever crop they're planting. And upon this day, the Lord is saying, you know, just as how these two animals will work together in, in, in getting the, the land prepared for, for, for the planting of food, just is the same thing. He wants to yoke to us so that we can go 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 on our journey a little easier because sometimes it seems as if there is such a heavy load like the trials of life it's such a heavy burden that it's like you hardly can carry yourself at times i remember there were days that i just don't feel like moving from point a to point b I just don't feel like moving. I just cannot move because everything just seems so heavy on me. And this I am using myself as an example because these are words that just came to me. And many a times persons will hear God talking to them. But, you know, it's like you don't recognize that it is the voice of the Lord that coming through and talking to you. But over time, when you want to build that relationship with Christ, you will come to recognize that it is God that is speaking and not just another voice that you hear. And many a times it's when we're deep in that place of hurt, deep in that place of despair, deep in that place that there's no hope, like your hope is lost. And God sees you. God sees your trouble. He sees your trials. He sees everything that you go through. And he is there. He said, I will supply all your needs. Not some enough. He said, I, God, will supply all your needs according to my riches in glory. And so he's saying, you, you don't have to be alone. You don't have to be alone. So this morning, as you go through your day, just know that God sees your pain and he sees what you're going through. And he's saying, take my yoke upon you and learn of him because he's lowly in heart. And he will give you rest unto your soul. And that's what we need this morning all of that pain that you're going through, just know that God is saying, 
I am there and I will help you to go on your journey. Father, we give you thanks for your word this morning that you're saying whatever your people is carrying, you're more than able to help them to carry it. You're more than able to see them through. You're more than able to help them along the journey. I pray for them this morning. I pray for everyone that come in contact with this video. I pray, God Almighty, for even the ones that don't get to come, come in contact with this devotional. I pray that God, you will lift up each and every one from the crown of their heads. Bless them to the sole of their feet. Guide their steps, O oh God, this morning. I pray that the word will come with clarity. It will come with fire for change and transformation, healing and deliverance. God, we trust you and we want to lean on you and not on our own understanding. Have your own sweet way today. In Jesus' precious name, amen. God bless you and God continue to see you through. See, feel and seal the vision that God has given on to you. Don't give up. Don't give in. Keep pressing. Have a great one.